Hit him up, I'm not afraid of you. First off, it's Charles J. Yeah, just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to sign Burkhead. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have Turk me. What it do, what it do, it's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. <sighs> Damn it, man. Say, man, uh, shout out to my audience, man. Shout out to those that's rocking with me, man. We back in the kitchen this early. God damn it, we got the goddamn sauce sizzling. It's heating up. God damn it, we in the kitchen. We cooking. You can already smell that sauce, man. Come on in the goddamn kitchen. Let's get to the shit. Okay. Got a lot of goddamn different series going on. Uh, I'm damn near uh, losing count of all the different series I got. I got a lot of different series. A lot of them just started my Texas prison series, which is kind of personal for me. I mean, I'm kind of, yeah, letting you in my life a little bit and different shit and different changes I made. And yeah, a lot of situations, man. Uh, got a lot of, got the reparation series, East Texas series, uh, a lot of different series, man. Um, but, uh, I also got the Light Father, Light Son series, man. This is part five, man. Yup, done touch Dwayne Wade and his son. Um, I'm not gonna say his daughter, that is his son. Uh, anyway, uh, touched Boosie and Tootie. Yeah, little Tootie. I've touched, uh, uh, Tip and his little, um, yeah, that little boy. Um, yeah, he went to jail. Hey, I didn't touch these. Um, yeah, I touched 50 Cent and his son. <sighs> Time to get the pee, man. Never thought I'd be having this conversation. Uh, never thought it'd come to this. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, shit has hit the goddamn fan. Uh, a lot of shit, man. A lot of shit. I'm, I, I, I'm gonna say this off the rip. On all my life, father, like son series, I have shitted on the father. Won't be doing it on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm taking up for P. Don't think he wrong. I think out of all these fathers I just named, I think he's solid, bro. Think he's solid. Um, I think he led by example. Now, uh, unless it's some details I don't know. Now, nah, pimping uh, P P a solid one. So, yeah, I'm getting at the sun on this one. So, yeah, let me dive into this shit, Romeo. For one, uh, you very. Uh, what's that? You Twitter finger happy? Um, you talk a lot of shit. Uh, I'm gonna tell you something. I, I before I even get to the shit, cause I I I miss when fathers would beat their son ass. Yeah, even grown. Yeah, I think y'all need. We need to start having some celebrity father and son matches. You motherfuckers need to get in the ring and fight. All this goddamn tension. All the, and P and P will whoop your ass. Yeah, P still got a little sauce though. Yeah, he'll whoop. Yeah, he come from them projects. He grew up way different from you, little Romeo. He knows some tricks. He knows some he knows some shit that you ain't never seen. And you probably ain't never fought. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet Tootie. Yeah, Tootie ain't never fought. Uh that old uh tip uh yeah, girly looking that boy look girl. That boy don't go to jail, boy. Don't you ever go to prison, uh, tip son. So yeah, I know you ain't never fought. Uh, a lot of you motherfuckers ain't never had a fight. <laughs> so, uh, no, Pippin, uh, I think you motherfuckers need to get in the ring. I think you need to, because I, I, I know all you motherfuckers got pistols. Yeah, Romeo, Tootie, all you little motherfuckers got pistols. I want to see you motherfuckers in the ring. I want to see how you can, I want to see you fight. Yeah, y'all need to do some shit like that. So, uh, yeah, that's how we can get some respect around this motherfucker. So, uh, but, but, in in our in our uh truthness and seriousness though uh um when it come to boots and tip and them dudes man y'all sons don't respect y'all because they they well for one they want to be like y'all but they deep down they don't respect you bro because y'all still y'all still damn that y'all still kind of thugging you motherfuckers still want to kind of be a thug you know or some shit like that some you know but P is different, bro. P 
P did some shit that was different, bro. Got to be honest with you, bro. And I'm from Texas, and yeah, but I ain't finna stand up for this shit. Uh -huh. Yeah, a lot of people think Jay Prince did it the best because he never, yeah, went to jail and shit like that. But now, Jay Prince Pimpin', you having some son issues, too, because now the boy that put on Drake, yeah, he, I think he like, they say he's a nerd, computer, smart type dude, just laid back. But the other one, he want to be a, a boss and, a, yeah, a mobster and some shit. He want to be a old, now, nah, bro, uh, you motherfuckers can't grow up in mansions and be a gangster when you get grown. Uh, that's the problem with you, motherfucker. So I wish you slapped the dog shit out of, uh, yeah, your son, bro. He got a lot of bullshit going. So now nah, I can't say Jay Prince did it the best. He did it great. But nah, bro, nobody did it like P. And P owned his masters. Nah, bro, nobody did it like P. Nobody. Nobody had the kind, of, nobody had the talent P had too, though. Gotta, gotta mention that too. Yeah, I gotta mention that nobody had the talent. Nobody had that kind of roster. Uh, P had over about forty. Oh, <laughs> he had over about forty different art. Man, I'm because I used to chop it up with dudes from New Orleans a lot, and I learned a lot. Man, they say P uh, P was dropping a CD damn near every week. Yeah, and yeah, he was dropping a CD damn near every week. And they say one thing about him: uh, when you sign to him, your ass gotta work. And them dudes was in the studio all the time, dropping, dropping CDs, left and right, left and right. He built an empire, bro. Uh, started with a little street money, turned that shit into gold. Got to be honest with you, another thing I like about you, Pete, see, I know you ain't weird. Now, didn't know weird shit ever happened to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I told you, uh, Diddy is the most gangster uh, rapper that has ever lived. Uh, because Diddy brought Diddy didn't nobody start dying till Diddy got in this shit, and Diddy in with the Jews, and he got a lot of power. He's a he's the most notorious gangster, and ain't no ain't nobody gonna fuck with him. Yeah, Diddy the most notorious, and he the gayest rapper. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. P never got in. He never started fucking with them Jews like that, and he never really he got out the way. Once all that weird shit started happening, and he seen the Fed start hitting different labels like Irv got in them. P kind of slid out from the scenes. They ne Let me tell you something about um, P. I think P the only one. The white boy never beat him. Nah, the white boy. <laughs> nah, nah, the white boy never whooped P. P got out the way. P got out the way, ducked out. We didn't hear from him for about fifteen goddamn years. Uh, yeah, I think that was. I think that was smart. I think that's some of the most. I ain't even gonna say gangster. I think that's some of them. That's some smart shit he did. He didn't want to get tied up in some of the shit he seen coming. There's a lot of shit, and P had a lot of power. So they were gonna take. They were gonna try to take him down. They were gonna. It was gonna be a lot of shit, bro. So we got out the way. Um. Um. People may say. Um. I, I don't know the situation with his brother. I mean, you can say what you want, but I'm talking about as a father, as a, as a CEO. P, P led the way. P showed you how it's done. Um, and he got out the way. Now, he ain't end up in the feds nowhere or none of that stuff. So, and I'm looking at uh, Romeo, and he said they broke and this and that, which I don't believe. Uh, little Romeo said, you never paid me for none of the shit I did, which I don't believe. Uh, I, hold on. Let me just say some shit I think, though. Uh, let's just say he didn't pay you. Uh, you know, let me tell you something about black fathers that I'm noticing. You motherfuckers pay y'all son for every little thing he do. You motherfuckers pay him for uh wiping the table off. You know, uh, used to be uh a son had to do shit. Yeah, and it wasn't no thank you, motherfucker. Just do it. Um, boys didn't used to get paid for cutting that uh yard like they were supposed to do. You didn't get paid for folding your clothes. Uh, you didn't get paid for washing the dishes or washing your ass or, why, or, or, or washing the clothes. No, nah, you didn't get paid for that shit. Uh, so, yeah, all that. And you couldn't rap. So how the fuck? Yeah, he wasn't supposed to pay you. No, nah, you couldn't rap. And another thing about you, uh, <laughs> little Romeo, you ain't a boss, pimping. Let me tell you something about you, bro. I think you one of the biggest son failures. I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> nah, I'm some real shit. And Jay, and Jay Prince's son is a huge failure too. Cause I gotta be honest. 
he seen Jay Prince do it, bro. You saw that shit, and but you more con, you motherfuckers want to. He want to be a mobster. Mo, you want to be a gangster more than you want to be a mastermind CEO of a company. Cause cause you ain't did shit with uh yeah rap a lot ever since Jay Prince. His son was really supposed to take that over and turn and and take rap a lot to another level. Uh, we living in an era where the sons are not greater than their father. Yep. We living in times where the son, y'all, y'all see them. You see this motherfucker. You see that he's a mastermind. You seen all the shit he did. You seen him with these producers. You seen his promotion skills. You seen his hustle pimping. You motherfuckers ain't got no hustle. Uh, you motherfuckers is sorry. Um, but you want to be gangsters. Uh, you motherfuckers are weird to me. He laid out the blue. You watched him make millions. And then you're going to shit on them and say we broke. What you were supposed to do, you were supposed to take a couple of them meals. Yeah, because you you grew up in mansion after mansion. All you know is mansions, little Romeo. You don't know shit about poverty. Uh, You should have took some of that shit. Yeah, that little movie, the little movies you, you made. You should have took some of that shit and turned it into some shit. You know, um, you were supposed to take No Limit to the next level. So instead of like father, like son, now it's a lot of hate. I told you we're living in times where the son hates the father. The son hates the father. Um, son, y'all, sons are supposed to want to be better than their father. You're supposed to want to be better, not in a competition way, but to do what he did and it turn it into something even bigger. Now, nah, we don't live in them times no more. We don't. Y'all, you motherfuckers don't have that kind of understanding. Y'all don't think that way. So I think it's very goddamn disturbing. And and like I said, I don't think P. Miller broke. Bro, P. Miller a hustler, bro. P. Miller, P. Miller got his hand in a lot of shit, bro. He, and he, he I'm going to tell you something about P. Miller, too. Even though. When he was at the when he was at the height of his career and he had no limit jumping, even though no limit seemed mainstream, it was all over the world. P. Miller always carried himself like an underground type brother. He an underground, straight from the trench, underground, bro, underground. And I ain't never seen him do no weird shit. So I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> now, nah, so uh, now nah, P. Miller never put on a dress. He never. Uh, Never seen him kiss another man. It's a lot of shit I've never seen P. Miller do. So I gotta, I got, bro, I gotta, I gotta salute to you. And maybe you didn't do everything like you was supposed to. Maybe you could have made more money. Maybe you could have made more move, movies. Maybe you could have dropped more music, bro. But you did a hell of a goddamn job. So uh, I think the last person that should be bashing him and his, is his son. So Romeo, uh, you you about yeah you about a year old. You about thirty four, some shit like that. Uh. Nah, pimping. Uh, you should have, bro. You done had years to hustle. You done had years to get your shit right. Um, you know, I thought you probably own an NBA team by now, or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I thought you had about two record labels. Uh, you ain't put on no rapper. Uh, it's a lot of shit you ain't done. Yeah, what about you, little Romeo? You keep talking about your father. Uh, P. Miller about fifty something. He done lived his life. He done did and accomplished what? What the fuck you gonna accomplish? You motherfuckers. Just don't, I don't get it. Sons are just, you motherfuckers are disrespectful. I swear, and you know what? I swear to God, you motherfuckers disrespect me. I'm going to beat the dog shit out. You motherfuckers are disrespectful. Uh, fathers, y'all need to beat y'all son up. Like, punch, straight fist to fist. No gloves on now. Fist, cut them up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, punch them down. You, uh, yes. Uh, fathers need to start knocking their sons the fuck out. Knock them the fuck out. You motherfucker, I swear to God, um, it's getting very disturbing. And, you know, I made that video about Pam and her daughter, which she say, I ain't stressing the day. Yeah, I ain't stressing the day. Yeah, that shit compared to what Lil Romeo just did. She she was a respectful uh, Jehovah Witness compared to Lil Romeo. She didn't say her mama broke. She didn't say, oh, I ain't made no money off. We struggling. I had to pay for this, and he ain't got no money. Bro, that's no, to try to bash your father like that, bro. And I know he got money. Bro, it ain't no, I don't believe that shit. 
I think you a hating ass little son that's disappointed with yourself and he done gave you loan out uh, money after money. He done gave you bag after bag and you done fucked the bag. See, you's a trick. You give all your money to women. Yeah, and you probably got a habit. Uh, yeah, you give all your money to women, pimping. Uh, nah, P wouldn't like that. <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah, you should have, you should have, you should have, uh, watched them a little bit closer. Uh, paid attention to some of that sauce. Uh, yeah, you should have learned how to make your own sauce, but now you ain't got no sauce, pimping. This is 903 Box, and I am your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.